हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय स्टडी चैनल केमिस्ट्री सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट्स हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ न्यू टॉपिक एंड दैट वन इज हाफ लाइफ पीरियड ऑफ अ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू दैट वी विल नो व्हाट इज हाफ लाइफ पीरियड the half life period of a reaction means the time at which the final concentration of reactants become half of the initial concentration of the reactant the time at which the final concentration of the reactant become half of the initial concentration of the reactant that time is called actually half life period of any reaction now we denote this half life period by t half now let's draw the formula of t half so we normally draw the formula of t half from the rate constant formula so for first order reaction the rate constant formula is k equal to 2.303 by t log of a not upon a where k is the rate constant t means time okay a not equal to initial concentration then a is the final concentration okay now let's do one interchange between the k and t so we can also write t equal to 2.303 by k log a not upon a okay now see when the time is t half when it is t half then the final concentration will be half of the initial concentration as per the definition okay so now let's put this value into the formula so we can get t half equal to 2.303 by k log a not upon a not by 2 right now a not a not cancel out so the remaining part is 2.303 by k log of 2 now we all know the value of log 2 is 0.3010 so put the value here 2.303 into 0.3010 divided by k so if you do calculation then you will find out 0.693 by k and it were and it is equal to t half so the formula of t half for first order reaction is t half equal to 0.693 by k now you can see in this formula concentration is totally absent so we can say this formula is 
independent on concentration of reactant now if any question comes that find out the t half or half life period of any first order reaction given the value rate constant then you have to use this formula which is t half equal to 0 0.693 by k this one is for first order reaction I hope this video is helpful to all. If it is helpful, then please do comment and share this video. And also don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also. Thank you.